Now that we have the background removed from our image, we want to do some adjustments to color correct this photo and make it look a little better. Before we begin though, let's go ahead and apply this layer mask. As long as you see this black and white image, which is a layer mask, you can still adjust the background and add more or take more out if you need to. But I've got it right where I want it to be, so I'm going to right click on that layer mask and hit apply layer mask. So that applies the mask and you can see the image now turns into a checkerboard pattern. And if I remove the background, you can see that I have that transparent background going on. Only do that when you have the background exactly where you want it. So I'm going to turn the background back on and let's go ahead and name this. And I'm going to name this original so we know what we're working with. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. So I'm just going to click and hit Control Plus to zoom in here. And the first thing that I notice is that there is a dark shadow on my face. Whenever this photo was taken, it cast a shadow. And I want to try to even this up a little bit. So we're going to use an adjustment layer to do that. If you go to the Layers panel, in the bottom, there's a circle that's half white and half black. That is an adjustment layer. And if I click on that, I'm going to choose Brightness and Contrast. Now, this adjustment layer is going to apply to the layers beneath it. And because its mask is white, it's being applied to everything. So if I click on the little Brightness and Contrast icon, and I pull the brightness up, you can see that it affects the whole layer. But I just want it to affect the part of my face that doesn't look really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the layer mask and then I want to fill this black and paint white the areas that I want to fix. So I'm going to hit edit, fill, black, and then hit OK. And now it's applied a black mask which means nothing is being applied and you can see the effect go away. If I select a white color and choose a soft brush and I just draw, you can see that it's applied to wherever I draw. So I'm just going to undo that. Now I'm just going to color in the one part that I need to fix. So let me zoom in a little more here. I'm doing this with the mouse so it's a little more tricky than when I use my tablet. So I'm just going to kind of follow this line here and then color in the side of the face. Now of course that is way too harsh so we can always go back click on that brightness and contrast icon and bring that brightness down until it blends in with the rest of the face. Before it was about here so now we're just gonna bump it up until it kinda matches. If I make a mistake I can always choose black again in the brush, click the mask and color that in and it'll take it back out. Oh, sorry, I had white. Let me change that to black. And then I can take it back out like that. But that looks pretty good, so we'll leave that right there. Okay, now I could go ahead and apply this once I have it where I want. Typically, I get into the habit of applying these as I go along. Let me go ahead and duplicate this layer. It's always a good habit to get into duplicating layers so that if you mess up you always have your original. So now I'm going to click on the layer above it, right click, and hit merge down. So now it's merged that adjustment layer into this layer and that looks really good. So you can see I've got the original and then the correction. So you can see that that definitely helped get rid of that shadow. So let me hide the original so we're not messing with it anymore. And I can just call this um, adjustment. Okay, now we just want to kind of mess around with some of the other settings to make this look a little better. So I'm going to select that adjustment layer. I'm going to go up to image and go to adjustments. And here we have a whole ton of different types of, of adjustments that you can do with photos brightness and contrast, levels, curves, exposures, you can change the colors, you can apply photo filters, there's a whole lot you can do here. We can't get into all of these right now, but I'll just show you a couple that we can do 
to make this look a little better. The first thing I want to do is go to the levels. When I open up the le levels panel, we have our, our dark tones, our mid tones, and our light tones. And if I move these knobs around, you can see them change. So if I bring the, uh, the high tones in, it gets brighter. If I bring the dark tones up, it gets darker. And I can adjust the mid tones either darker or lighter. So this was at one. And I actually want to bring it down a little bit so that it lightens up. I'm going to make it 1.25. So it just looks a little, little lighter, a little crisper, um, not so dark with the shadows and everything that's already going on in this photo. The next thing I want to do is I can notice in this photo that there's a lot of red going on. You can see in the cheeks, in the photo, even in the shirt a little bit, that there's a lot of red, and I want to warm this up some. So I'm going to go back to Image, click on Adjustments, and this time I'm going to select Selective Color. And this will actually allow me to choose a color and change its color values. So I'll show you how that works. Here I can pick any color that I want to adjust. And within that color, I can actually mess around and give it more cyan or less, more magenta or less, more yellow, and so on. So let me show you real fast. If I go to Blacks, and I click on the blacks at the bottom, I'm just adjusting the black values and I can either give more black value or take it away. And this goes for all of these. So I can go to the whites and if I go to the black value, it actually doesn't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> Let me go neutrals. The neutrals seem to do a lot. So there's not a whole lot of white values in this image to begin with. But the cool thing is that I can go to reds and I can actually add to the red channel um, more color of cyan, magenta, yellow, or black. So if I do black, it's going to make the reds darker and lighter. But I don't really want to do that. I want to take it away. So with the reds, there is magenta. And if I pull that magenta slider down, you can see that it pulls out some of that magenta of that red color and makes the image look a little warmer. I'm also going to boost the yellow up a little bit. And that just gives a more natural color to how my skin tone actually looks. That might be a little too much magenta, so I'm going to move that up. Okay, so now it's looking a lot better. The colors are looking better. And there's, there's a ton of different things that we could do in this adjustments uh, properties. Um, you could definitely mess around with the brightness and contrast. Um, it looks a little dull, so maybe we could just bump up the contrast a little bit give it a little more sharp color uh, I don't want to mess around with the brightness too much because it gets either too dark or too light but I think that looks pretty good right there so now we have let's go ahead and turn on the original layer so I'm going to turn off the adjustment layer and you can see we went from that to that so it's just popping a lot more the colors are sharper it's a more natural color tone and I don't have that shadow on my face. So those are some quick adjustments that you can do. Um, the adjustments layer has a lot of options that you can mess with. So you can mess with the levels, the curves, the exposure, the color balance and all those other settings with masks and that makes it very useful um, way to edit your photos.